All right. Third one. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, third one. <laughs> How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fish. And now we know where Finding Dory got the idea of having fish travel in a bucket of water carried by a bird. <laughs> Smooth landing, Luther. Thanks for the look, Sam. Have a good time. There will be visitors from around the world at the Founders Day Festival. That foreign language phrase book could really come in handy. Right as rain, Freddy, it's all yours. As soon as you give me one orange sea urchin, that is. An orange one? That looks like something expensive. <coughs> Yikes! I almost lost a pin. Oh, jeez. I'm not trying that again. Not without something to keep that clam from snapping shut. Hmm, I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Arrgh. Great job! I knew you could pull it off! Get it? Pull? Off? Oh, Luther! And I remember this was the end of the demo for this game. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> this is all you could do. Was... I'd better hold on to this. You just uh, never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Let's open this little, like, net thing. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny! What are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine oh, Gil the Barker, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horse Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old soggy sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if Aww. he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. So we got Putt-Putt here in the background. Oh. <laughs> the squid pod. Oh my gosh, we can make our own bad guy. Or girl. Oh my goodness. So many decisions. I like the octopus. <laughs> God. <laughs> Look at the sassy eyes. What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I want the bug-looking body. For sure. Oh my gosh, yes. Let's see, what should the main... Oh boy, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the handlebar mustache. Oh, that one's kind of... I like that one. I think this one's good. What's this? Oh my gosh, seriously. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these are are genuinely bad. <laughs> yeah, let us be naked. A toaster, yes, holding a toaster underwater. Excuse me, waffles. A plunger. I kind of like the toaster. This is just... Yeah, the, I want the tiny, little tiny fin. Yes! <laughs> I don't know what the name should be. I'll have to think about a name. Oh man. Alright. <laughs> I remember spending so long as a kid wor just working on making the perfect, like, bad guy. Excuse me, sir, but are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. When Pierre mends things, they are better than new. So if something was torn into a million, billion, teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Bisha! With my eyes closed, <laughs> closed my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. I'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, as a kid, you want to be... You don't really care so much. I mean, you care about finishing the, the story. But you also get... You just allow yourself to get lost in all the side things. And all the little things you can click on. And the characters and all this stuff. Step right up, gills and buoys, for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. <laughs> Looking for fun? Got four purple sea urchins just burning a hole in your pocket. <laughs> Then step right up to Gilbarka's fantastic floating fun. You can have more fun than a barrel of brine shrimp. Just pay, then play. Hey, hey, what do you say? I just flew in on a manta ray. What? <laughs> Me when I look in the mirror. <laughs> wow, it's a grandma grouper fortune teller machine. How popular is grandma grouper? Hard work pays off. Wow, that's really deep. <laughs> is it though? Another pajama Sam. I know, basically, it's what it seems like. A carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Oh, there's one of the pipes. Look, it's one of the golden pipes. You're right. But how can we get it out of that glass case? Looks like a tough case to crack, if you ask me. I'm sure glad I didn't ask. Those blue sponges move the golden pipe closer to us. It looks like the orange sponges move the golden pipe closer to us. Great! Those purple sponges oh. move the golden pipe farther away from us. This seems to be working! Oh! 
Hey, Freddy, you smell that? What is it? <sighs> ah, the sweet smell of success. <laughs> <sighs> now we need just two more golden pipes for old Soggy to pick up the scent. His name is Soggy. Well, yeah, when you're a kid, you don't have, like, the critical thinking... I mean, you have the critical thinking skills, but it takes you a little bit longer to figure out. Mess it up a little bit in, in the middle there, but you get the idea. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. Dog, we've been gone for like five minutes and we only found one. Right. Oh. So keep your cool. We have not. <laughs> Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. <laughs> Who do you think stole the great conch shell? I can't believe that anyone would take the great conch shell. It is just too important. But if you really must know, Rosie Pearl looks awfully suspicious. Oh, just quick to throw other people under the bus there, are ya? Ah, uh, fish looks like it's really hungry for those kelp vines. I get it. Look, Luther, the doorway's clear. <laughs> well, don't go sneaking around the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Don't go swimming too close to my door Down in the deep blue sea I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse Than his bark will ever be Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor Unless you wanna mess with me uh, <sighs> Bravo! Oh man, there are five of these? Oh god Oh my gosh, you guys, that baby, like the size of that baby compared to the size of Luther, if that's just a baby, how big is that fish going to get? Wow. Oh gosh. Down deep into the murky sea. <laughs> oh, that's the first thing you fish. In a me, I'm a cool catfish with an attitude. I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool. Come take a swim in the blue. I'll make you feel so cool. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh 
man. All right, let's see what the last one is. Oh God. Wow. All of these songs deserve an Emmy. Emmys are Emmys are music awards, right? I don't know. Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes. I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. <laughs> but they're so good! <laughs> Alright. I mean, except for television? What's the- what's- it's not Oscars, those are a film. I spy with my lips! Something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? Uh. Hmm. It's a purple sea urchin. Good work, Luther. Here, let's ask Google. Okay, Google. What are the music awards called? Oh, I think I think it's the Grammys. Yeah. A Grammy Award, or Grammy, is an award presented by the Recording Academy to recognize achievement in the mainly English language music industry. There you go! Thanks, Google. <laughs> yeah, Grammys, that's what it is. Grammys, Emmys. <gasps> so racist. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. May we please have that Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper in your bag? He's speaking a foreign language. I don't think he understood a word you said, Luther. May we please have the Shim Sham Jiminy Jam <laughs> Clapper Gapper in your bag? Talking floor isn't it up. Luther. If he doesn't know our language, speaking slower and louder won't make him understand you any better. Are you sure? Not a it's a purple pop? sea urchin. <laughs> what? I knew that. I just like to say snaboopy pop. Snaboopy pop. Snaboopy pop. Snaboopy pop. Snaboopy pop. <laughs> this looks like a wallet. Hey, look! There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet. We're rich, rich, rich. This wallet doesn't belong to us, Luther. According to this picture, it belongs to a needlefish with a long pointy nose, a mustache, and a couple of hairs on his head. I'll hold on to it until we can find the owner. That's the haircutting guy, right? Club. 
Why would anybody want to call themselves a bully? Do you know who took the great conch shell? I didn't see who took it, but my bet is on that guy Pierre. He's kind of shady. <laughs> All right then. I'm gonna go get this back to this guy. Is that the wallet of Pierre in your fin? Yes, sir. Ah, my beautiful one-of-a-kind wallet. Here's something from the great Pierre just for you. Just one orange churchin? <laughs> Luther, don't be greedy. Thank you, Pierre. Wow, apparently he's doing very well for himself for a tailor. Although I guess bespoke stuff is pretty expensive. Oh yeah, we still need something. Can this hold this it open? This plastic shovel isn't strong enough to keep the clam from clam- Really? I feel like it would be. How would you like to sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam? I'd rather get a snack, but an orange <laughs> sea urchin will do. Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this to good use. What if they used one of the golden pipes to hold this open and and then both of them fell into the clam? <laughs> that would be about my luck. <laughs> Alright, now we can talk to this tourist and get his bop stop bibble bop 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 or whatever. <laughs> Freddy, I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in this foreign language phrase book. What are these two? May we please have the Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? I guess that wasn't his language. How are we supposed to- what the- Oh, on his bag, Adoy. May we please have the Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? I have a funny feeling that this is not the correct what? flag. Oh, are you kidding me? It has two fins instead of one fin. Oh my gosh. May we please have the <laughs> Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? So, the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving Horst Feather so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Oops. Watch him just throw out one of the golden pipes. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Feather, sir. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe I missed that. <sighs> Let's see if we can go this way or this way. Ooh. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to get this monkey over here. Don't worry, I didn't miss that purple sea urchin. Yep. My poor leaking boat. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll have your problem solved in a snap. 
Okay, Luther, let her rip. But don't actually rip her. Good news, the hole's plugged. Uh, the bad news is I ripped your cell badly. No, uh -oh. it looks like you ripped it quite well. Psst. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll get your sale fixed. We promise. Good thing we know a tailor. Alright, so that's how we're gonna get that one. Ah, and ah, ha ha ha, it's all coming together. Hey, Luther! Do you see what I see? I know exactly what we need to do. A shim sham jimity jam clapper gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Right o, Freddy! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> How did it swallow? I got it? a golden pipe! I don't care what anyone else says, you're a good fish. Oh, what do other people say about All him? All we need is one more golden pipe, and old Soggy can sniff out the thief. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find a conch show so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. <laughs> what? Well, little Jimmy, somebody was being an a-hole and took it. Oh yeah. He's probably gonna want something, even though we found his wallet. Here, do you think you can mend our sail for us? Maybe. Now observe, mere mortals, as the great Pierre creates from the tattered rag the nautical fashion statement. Oh, he's actually gonna do something. Voila! C'est fini! Fini! <laughs> well, he said to say it. Sheesh! <laughs> Beautiful. Well, that third one in no time. I'm not going to get it right away because I want to explore this part and I think getting the third one triggers a cutscene. Look, a purple sea urchin. And I don't want to risk it. How come there are no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are. They live in the secret sea where everything is pink and polka dotted. You just made that up, didn't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> Freddy, this log looks kind of like a tunnel. <laughs> and it seems to be stuck in the mud. Ah. Uh. <laughs> hey, Luther, <coughs> help me dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Okie dokie. <coughs> oh, sorry. The oh, water went down the wrong pipe. All right. <coughs> Come on, Luther. Help me push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> so funny. <coughs> We can't slack off, Luther. Not if we want to push the log into the waterfall. Ugh. Don't let up. We're doing great. Ugh. I wonder if that would actually stay. I, I feel like... No. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis.
Yeah, I feel like it definitely would not work. How did that bird get in there? This looks like a told like it's totally legal for me to go in. <laughs> it definitely looks like a a bar, like a tiki bar. Like cabaret. <laughs> Welcome to the world-famous Luau Show, where we bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed! Oh, she's gonna watch it with us. Let's see what the third game has, because I don't think there is one of these in the, f in the fourth or fifth one. Oh, I just watched Give some, up, <laughs> some somebody else having fun doing limbo. <laughs> they just made shish kebabs with a whole pineapple, onion, and tomato. Bebops, we do. So far, it's not great. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there is one Come in the fourth on, one. Let's put those fins together. That's it. But I can't remember. I really don't think there's one in the fifth one. Everybody in the audience is booing, and this lady is still like hype for this guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Another mermaid. Come on, folks, let's hear it. Show them that you love them. <laughs> At least he finds himself funny. So what do you think of the show so far? Oh my gosh, it's just silence in the audience. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the awkward clap at the end. <laughs> A hula girl with in space with aliens? Flea on, circus. Let's put those fins together. That's it. Oh boy. <laughs> so handsome. Hey, it had some talent though, at least. Was that great or what? Yeah, you bet it was. <laughs> I remember being a kid like, yeah, yeah, I do bet it was. That was so amazing. <laughs> oh man. I think we we were so into this as kids.
Oh, we should go spend our four um, purple sea urchins before we do the. Here's a purple sea urchin. <laughs> That's just one purple sea urchin. That would hurt. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for yeah. you. Yeah. Aren't purple aren't sea urchins purple sea urchin number two poisonous or like some do. of them are two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. <laughs> Here's another purple sea urchin. <laughs> That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins press. Precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you two, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. That seems all that specific. Did I ever hit this on the right day? But yeah, I thought the purple ones were one of the worst poisonous. Put the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters. Oh, it's just a mini game. I paid for away. a mini game. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. It was like Tetris, kind of. Nah, I'm good. Alright, let's go get that last um, golden pipe. Oh, I thought I... Come on. Hey, Magenta, we brought you something you really wanted. A banana split? Oh, no, it's a sale for your boat. Good as new. Wow, I'm impressed. And even better, I'm moving! <laughs> oh, it's a lovely island and such beautiful banana trees. Thanks for your help. Now, why don't you help me? Magenta, could you climb this banana tree and toss us that golden pipe? It's a pleasure. Thanks a lot, Magenta. We did it, Freddy! We found all three golden pipes! Come on! Let's see if Old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Wasn't Magenta the name of Blue's friend? Blue in Blue's Clues? Here you go, boy. Luther, we've got a bad guy to catch. And Blue was a girl and Magenta was a boy, right? Old Soggy! The thief! Both girls? I can't remember. A jewel. I used to love that I'm show. Gonna be rich, rich, rich! Uh-oh. Nice going, Luther. Hey, what happened? Well, I, I saw this jewel and, and then I took it out and the door closed and I don't... Just put the jewel back, Luther. Luther! Oops. Oops. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I remember this being so tricky when I was a kid. Okay, we need the green jewel for that one.
Oh, that's a gorgeous shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Uh, uh, oh. This red okay, crystal so apparently we put really all come of in the... handy if I could only break it loose. Or if we do need it. I feel like the other crystals would fit in those fishes' mounts pretty well. Alright, there's a base up here. Oh, a chisel. It's a chisel! I should hold on to this. It might come in handy. We should be able to get the red jewel with that then. Is this supposed to be an old sunken Mayan temple? A chisel could loosen that crystal. This crystal That's sure crazy. gets off a lot of green Where are they supposed to be? They get off the coast of... That might come in very handy. Hey, oh, jeez, that's convenient. <laughs> it's like a gold mine. Get the red one. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. That could come in very handy indeed. <laughs> so Kira, Miranda and I are gonna be playing um, a Nancy Drew drinking game tonight. I think tonight, probably. I don't know which game yet. But, if you have nothing better to do, <laughs> you can watch us. I guess mostly watching me and listening to Miranda. in handy I will not be following the rules very strictly because when we did that Guild Wars one I felt super sick afterwards so I'll just be casually drinking oops see if I can find my way out of this place If you have nothing else better to put put on in the background. Ooh. Yeah, next time we do something like that, it'll definitely be more like I'll bet that's the key I need to get Luther out. I only needed one crystal. I thought this was gonna be something like Yippee, put this color in and then this it. color in and then this color in. Oh well. Yeah, next time we do something like that, I'll definitely be just more at a nice slow pace. <laughs> I don't know why. Yes! It really needed one crystal. Luther! I'm free! Let's put that jewel back. I don't the game Look, seems Luther, so much shorter must have dropped than when we were little. Bag. I guess we already talked about that, didn't we? <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. It's unbelievable. The letdown of a lifetime. This is more disappointing than when the Plankton Circus came to town. <laughs> no conch shell means no festival. And I just polished my tooth. Oh, the colossal irony of it all. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bum a piece of my mind. Please help me! Please help me! Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent! <gasps> the thief 
drop this bag. When we looked inside, we found a claw-shaped boxing glove, which oh. means the thief is... How did I ever get this wrong? Claw! <laughs> You're the As a child. Oh, that could have been anybody's claw-shaped boxing glove in that bag. You ain't got nothing on me. Ouch! Oh, no? <laughs> Ow, that would hurt. Okay, okay. So maybe you do have something on me. I confess. The guys at the bullies club made me do it. They're even bigger bullies than I am. Claw, you can't blame someone else for the things that you do wrong. You should know that no matter what anyone else says, it's just plain wrong to steal. I've been a selfish shellfish. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. Yeah, you should That's be. okay. I'm still the grand exalted keeper of the conch. Thanks to Freddy and Luther. Oh, and old Shoggy. God, Just what can <laughs> pulling I his eyes do back in his head. <laughs> Just do your duty, old grand exalted keeper of the conch. Claw was convicted of violating Penal Code 119 for having a really bad attitude. As punishment, he was sentenced to take remedial classes in ballet for bullies and has to wear a tutu and little pink dance slippers to school for a whole year. Case uh, closed. Uh, what? <laughs> they were so serious about it. Oh man, that's great. Just as good, did you remember, Kira? You said it was one of your favorites, right? All right. Do now you want to stop playing? I mean, we'll play, stop Get playing this down. one. Oh, sooner than you know.